What's up guys, welcome to Super Sick Media, and today I'm going to be doing a video on the state of current gen gaming. And yes, Review Tech USA and Black Bond did similar videos previously, and that's what kind of inspired me to make one as well, because this is actually a video that I also wanted to make, which is also something Review Tech USA said, but it's true, I wanted to make this video. And I'm going to start this off by talking about my thoughts on the PS Vita. Now, personally, I'm interested in the PS Vita. I think it's an interesting console. I think that remote play is a great feature, and I do like the idea of playing uh, AAA games on the go. Although I do agree with the point that most people really don't want that kind of experience on the go. They want quick, easy-to-play games, and that's perfectly understandable. But I do think that there's a place for the PlayStation Vita, and I think there's hope for it. They just gotta find the right games to release and they have to figure out how they can market this thing a little bit better and uh, you know get it out there get more consumer interest in the system but I do think there's a place for this system I think it's a great piece of technology uh, there's really it's a very unique piece of hardware just like the 3DS it, it, it's its own thing Sony just has to get smart about what games they release they need to release some more pick up and play games so that a more consumer interest is shown in it and they're appealing to a wider market because right now this is really only appealing to very hardcore gamers who want that type of experience on the go on transit to work they play games while they're watching t tv i don't know people do crazy stuff like that now the 3ds the other handheld that has sold over 43.4 million units um, yeah, I'm looking at VG charts right now, and that's what it's telling me. So that's an insane amount. But if you remember, the 3DS wasn't doing all that hot either. Until Nintendo started to release all the big games for it, then it started to uh, pick up some steam. And now it's pretty much the top selling current gen uh, console, even more so than the PS4, Xbox One, or Wii U. However, it has been out longer than the other consoles, so we are still waiting to see what happens in the future. But this is still a very impressive number, and I really don't know if even the PS4 is going to catch up to this number. But, to be honest, Nintendo is very smart. Uh, these are some points that the Review Tech USA made. They, they're smart about releasing their games, and I agree with that statement. They are very smart about releasing their games. They release them at the right time, except for the Wii U. <laughs> I just, I had to put that in there, but it's true. They really, really kind of fell at that, and I don't really understand why i mean the 3ds is, is just doing ridiculously well and the wii u they just didn't release the right games at the right time for it but hopefully this year at the end of, by the end of this year the uh, wii u will start picking up steam and then it'll maybe even catch up to the playstation 4 it actually has increased in sales due to the fact that mario kart 8 had so much consumer interest uh, it caused people to actually go out and purchase a Wii U just for that specific game. And when Super Smash Brothers comes out, you know the same thing is going to happen. So just wait for that and we will see what happens with the Wii U. Now, Xbox One. Yes, the Xbox One. I think that Microsoft is doing the right thing right now. They are turning around at E3. They talked all about the games. The whole Halo thing was magnificent, very great value, and they got people excited about the Xbox One. They need to sell more because they're doing quite well, actually, in the first few months. However, Sony has almost, like, they've almost lapped them, okay? They almost have two times as many units sold worldwide. Even though the PlayStation 4 did release in more regions, Simultaneously, the PS4 is just greatly outselling the Xbox One. There's a lot of consumer interest behind the PS4. There's a lot of momentum, and it's just selling like hotcakes right now. People just really want that system. It's in high demand, and I really don't know why at this point, because there's honestly not that many games coming out, or, or at least are out. But I think a lot of games are going to come out for it, and the PS4 is going to be a great system in the long run. And 
if you get one now, you're ahead of the game. Now the PS4, I got a, a little ahead of myself, excuse me. The PS4, over 8.2 million units sold. That's fantastic, Sony. They are really pulling it in. At uh, E3 this year, they kind of messed up because they did like a 30... 30 minute or yeah 30 minute show talking about weird numbers and statistics and tv shows and it was really really it didn't do anything for me it was kind of boring and i understand it i understand why they did it however they spent way too much time on it they could have talked about games should have did the same thing microsoft did it just brought on the games man just brought on the games they poured it on and that's why people like their show so much. That's why people like Nintendo's show so much because they talked about games. And Sony kind of messed up there. Overall, their show was actually pretty decent, but that part kind of brought it down a little bit. I mean, it was a whole half hour longer than the Microsoft show, but that was just so they could talk about TV and weird stuff. So, you know, next year, hopefully they pull it together. Hopefully at Gamescom, they bring talk about the games. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it's not going to halt the sales of the PS4 all that much. We'll see how long they can keep those sales up, though. I'm pretty sure they're going to keep going up as they release games throughout this, this year and next year. So we'll just see what happens. Now, the final system I'm going to be talking about, you know it very well. It's the PC. Now... If you haven't heard, Sony and EA have actually come out and said they support the console wars and that the competition is good between them and it pushes them to gain consumer trust, to gain, gain uh, just publishers in general and everything, just backing basically. Well, PC, PC has been around a very long time. Uh, and it, it just constantly changes it gets more and more powerful over time now here's the problem even though many people play PC games even though uh, PC games was gaming was more profitable than console gaming at, at some point uh, here's here's the problem I don't think that overall PC gaming is going to become quite as popular as console gaming and here's the reason why when people even though more people have a PC than a console, and you be, might be asking, well, logically, doesn't it make sense that PC gaming should be more popular than console gaming? Look at Minecraft. The console version of Minecraft has outsold the PC version of Minecraft, and, it, and the PC version of Minecraft has been out since, like, forever, the beginning of time, basically. And this is just, this, it's insane, right? Well, here's my reasoning on this. When people buy a console, they're specifically buying that console so that they can play video games. When you get a PC, even if they play some games on the PC, the PC is mainly there as a work device, as a school device, uh, to do research, to do internet browsing. Uh, it's more likely to be used for Flash games than to go get on Steam and some play Minecraft on it. And that's just how it is. So, altogether, Console gaming, I really don't think it'll completely go away. It might change. It might become your phone, and you might use that as your gaming console. You plug it into your huge TV, and it's powerful enough to run these games. You might be streaming games in the future, but I don't think that experience is going to go away. I did, PC gaming is definitely not going to go away. Uh, they, they're going to coexist for a long time here. So I really think that there's a place for both of them. And PC gaming has its own wars as well. Not really on a large scale. It's pretty much basically like Intel versus AMD. And that's about it. And you have the different uh, platforms, Steam, EA. Even though EA says they're not directly competing with Steam, they are basically in the same space with Origin. So, and they don't sell their games on Steam anymore. They're new releases. So they're really, they're, they're competing with them in all honesty. So that's just the truth. And there's all this other like subsections of the PC that are competing, these different companies, graphics uh, companies, NVIDIA and AMD as well, because NVIDIA makes graphics cards, AMD makes graphics cards, and Intel versus AMD, because Intel processors versus AMD processors. And that's 
those are the biggest uh, competition, but really, that's just about it as far as gaming. It's mostly a unified platform, but here's the thing, even though it's unified as far as like a system, each system is different because each person's PC is different. So gaming or developing a game for a PC is can be difficult because you have to make it run on wide ranges of hardware and whereas on the PS4 with Planet Side 2 a game like that they can completely max it out on maximum settings have it run at 1080p 60 frames per second and uh, optimize it so that it runs smoothly whereas on a PC they've had optimization problems even on higher end hardware where it causes issues when they try to run it at 1080p and get a high frame rate and it's because of unified hardware. P all PS4s are the same, all PCs are not. But in the end, PCs have the potential to be the most powerful gaming systems out there. So th neither of them are gonna go away. This is just my take on the state of gaming. Uh, I think th this new next generation is gonna bring all new stuff to the table. It's gonna be it's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of game changers this generation and um, I'm just excited to see it. There's a link to the other two videos as well in the description below. So go ahead and check those videos out if you so wish. As well, I'll, I'll leave a link to VG Charts. And uh, if you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button if you were informed at all. Comment in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts on this subject. I want to know what you guys think about the state of gaming. This current gen, not passion, just this current generation of consoles that are out now. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. Link's in the description. As always, uh, stay super. Oh, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter so I can keep you up to date with my uploads and gaming news. There may not be any more uh, videos this weekend, by the way, so just letting you guys know, there may or may not be. I'm out of town. I may or may not have prepared more videos, so be aware of that. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.